What's up everyone, Patrick here. Welcome back. Moving on to the next question. A student sent me this question. It's a pretty tough one dealing with polynomial functions. So a polynomial function with roots five, negative six, and nine, where the a value is unknown, passes through the points two and m, and then negative three and m plus 30. And we have to find the values of both a and m. So the way you want to do this question here, as you can see, it's fairly unique. Now, this a value, we know that it's always over here in front. And then notice that we're also given the roots. So we know what the factors are going to be. So we have a root 5, which would give us a factor of x minus 5, right? Roots and x-intercepts are the same thing. So we have a root 5. The other positive root is 9. So the other factor would be x minus 9. Then we have a negative 6. So the other factor would be x plus 6. So this is our polynomial here. We don't know what the a value is in front. It's unknown. That's one of the values we're actually finding. And we also have to find this m value. And notice that this m value is part of the representation of the two y values for the two points we're working with. So we have this point 2 and m, an x value of 2, a y value of m. And then we have this other point, an x value negative 3, and a y value of m plus 30. So what we can do is we can actually set up two equations with this information. So we could take this first point here and plug in two for all the x values. So we'd have two minus five, two minus nine, and then two plus six. And then notice that the y value is m. So we got one equation over here, and then we could create another equation with this point. So we plug in negative 3 for all the x values and m plus 30 for the y value. So we'd have m plus 30 equals that a value, still unknown. And now we would plug in negative 3 for all the x values. So we'd have negative 3 minus 5, uh, negative 3 minus 9, and then we'd have negative 3 plus 6. And hopefully at this point, you see where we're going. We're going to have two equations, two unknowns. We're going to have to use substitution or elimination to solve for them. So it's actually not too bad of a question algebraically. It's just setting it up and understanding what to do can, uh, can be a little difficult just because it's such a unique question. So if we simplify this, we'll have m equals a. And then over here, we'll have negative 3, negative 7, and then 8. So this would be negative 3 times negative 7 is positive 21 times 8 gives us positive 168. So we'll have m equaling 168 times a. So that there is one equation. Can't really simplify that any further. And then over here we'll have m plus 30 equals a times negative 8 times negative 12 times positive 3. Like that. So what we would end up having is m plus 30 equals a negative 8 times negative 12 would give us positive 96. And then 96 times 3 would give us 288. So to make this look a little nicer, this would be 288a, right? These two are multiplying still. And then we got the m plus 30. And so this is our other second equation. So now what we could do, we got these two equations, we could solve for m and a, and notice that the obvious step here would be, I think, to plug in 168a for this m value, because m is equal to 168a. So we'll have 168a plus 30 equals 288a. And now we could solve for a. We could bring the 168 over. We'll have 288 minus 168, which gives us 120. a. Then we got a 30 here. Divide both sides by 120. a would end up being 30 over 120, which simplifies to 1 over 4. And now that we know the a value, we could plug it in here to get the corresponding m value. m would be 168 times 1 over 4 which would be like 168 divided by 4, which would give us 42. And those are the answers. A is equal to 1 over 4. M is equal to 42. And you can actually test this. So what we can do is we could plug in the A value here in the polynomial. So this is the actual polynomial 
that we're working with. The A value is 1 over 4, and these are the x-intercepts. And then what we could do is we could test, after we plug in this m value of 42, we'll have 2 and 42, and then we'll have negative 3 and 72, right? 42 plus 30 is 72. So what we can do is test whether this polynomial actually goes through these two points. The way we could do that, we could plug in 2 for all the x values, make sure you get a y value of 42. We could plug in negative 3 for all the x values, make sure you get a corresponding y value of 72. And if you do that, that check would pan out. And so you could be pretty confident that those are the two values and the final answer.